welcome back. This is a part two on how to make your own custom thumbnail or logo or button. And what I'm doing now is loading pictures. So I go up to file and go down to uh, open and grab a picture. And I'm going to use that as my background picture. Go back up to file, go down to open, open the US flag, and load another picture. This is for something like really custom. I'm going to need to load up this UFO. I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. So I'll go up to image, go down to scale image and make it bigger not too big alright next I'll go to my path tool and I'll start going across the path eventually Just about done here. Then I'll go up to select. And select from paths and right click on it. And go down to edit and cut. Then I'll go back to my first layer, right click, edit, and paste. Now it's on my original layer. Now I can go to my move tool and I can just left click on it and grab it and drag it around. since I'm going to crop this picture and there I just anchored it I moved it down to where I wanted it now I'll go to the flag and I'll right click edit cut right click edit paste now I'm going to right click on that layer and go down to scale image and I'm going to make it smaller a lot smaller smaller so I'm going to go ahead and drag the image to close to where I want it and make it smaller Just go down to 50 already. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now I want to make the image bigger. And I'm going to go to my rotate tool. So I'll right click or left click on that and grab a hold of it with the left mouse button held down. And rotate it. All right, it's a little off. I just click on it again and rotate it again. And I want it about there. Well, maybe about right there. <laughs> All right. Now I can use the perspective tool and give it kind of that uh, 
the same look as the windows in the spaceship, so you can tell it's like on a a sloped surface. Now I could take my time and really, really do this well, but uh, it's it's it takes a long time to really get it just right. It's best just to get it close, and since it's kind of small, and it won't be seen as well on the picture, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And that corner needs to come down a little. Right there. Alright. Now I can anchor that. Now that's part of my image. Alright, now I can go back to that picture. Go to Undo. Click back. Go back to Layers. And now I can... Let's see here. I'll make another layer. A transparent layer. And now I can go to my Font Tool. And... Of course blow it up so I can see it. Because I'm blind. And I'll scale it up a little bit. No, I don't. I use my head. Doesn't need to be that big. I make a font a little bigger. Okay, I make sure I'm on my transparent layer. I make a box. Merka, fuck yeah. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why the uh, lettering came out blue. Should have been black. So that's something I'll have to look into in the future. But there's a way to get uh, custom lettering or textured lettering. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is um, go to my paths tool. I'll I'll merge that down. I'll right click on that layer and merge it down. Merge it down, and then go to my paths tool and blow it up again. And now I'm going to do the outline of this whole thing here. Now I forgot to originally but you can do the in the center of the E and the A but I'll show you how to fix it if you're like me and you forget to to do those. So I just go around each letter and I'm not going to show all of them so don't worry. And I'll show you how to hop from one letter to the next. Okay, so the way to... Let's see if I even do it. Okay, here we go. So the way to hop to, from one letter to the next is to connect the final end pieces and then connect and then click on a piece that's not connected to an end. And then you can hop to the next letter. If you try to just click on the next letter, it'll screw everything up. Okay, once you're done with that, you go up to select hit from paths and go down there and right click 
right click go down to edit hit cut and then go to that layer hit merge down and then hit cut again or hit right click hit edit go to cut again and then go back to your original picture hit edit right click paste and here we go <clears throat> so uh, you see that my E and A aren't showing don't have their holes in it so I grab my eraser tool I make it a little smaller and I just erase it but it's on a feathery brush so I go to my brushes click a hard brush and that's it now I go ahead and go back and clean that up it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be small and this is just kind of a demonstration there we go there we go okay. Okay, we got that. Take it back down to about a hundred percent. Now we'll go to the move tool and I'll move it to right about where I want it. I'll go to the rotate tool and I'll rotate it to where I want it roughly. and then I'll right click on that layer the floating layer and go down to scale layer and make it a little smaller because I see it's a little big that should do it I'll go to my move tool and move it again and now I've got my perspective tool try to give it that stretch the first one I did didn't turn out so well and I started messing with it I stretched it way out and then I remembered less is more so that's what I did kept it at less and it turned out a lot better than the madness I had before <laughs> it was funny looking so there I got kind of that that sloped look to it without messing with it too much all right, I'm gonna drop back, and uh, I think we're gonna anchor that any second now. I'm gonna wake up and anchor it. Okay, I grab my crop tool and decide to crop it first. For some reason, <laughs> and so I select an area, put my cursor in the center of it, and then hit enter or return, and there it is cropped. Now I go to image, scale image, and I'm just checking it out to see what it is. And I decided to go ahead and change it to 1080 by 1920. Oh no, I don't. I go back to my crop tool and decide to crop it again. It appears I may have forgotten to anchor it. Okay, there we go, anchor. There we go.
So that's a little more of a custom picture for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. And if you have a question, please ask. Have a good day. Ladies.